Hey everyone, this is Anka Metcalf with Trade Out Loud. Welcome to the Market Outlook for the week starting with Tuesday, January 22nd, 2019. And also stocks on watch uh, for this week. Hope everyone enjoyed the long holiday weekend and we're back to trading. So let's take a look and let's begin with the market and let's begin with the queues. Uh, the queues finished off on an incredible strong week, finished at 165.25. And as you can see, it's still trading into this cluster of resistance. We still have room for a continuation higher into the 173, and this is the next resistance area. And if we trade, and if we should trade in the next week or two weeks or even in the m a month or so above this 173 and change level, there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to uh, continue the bull market for the rest of the year. This is going to be the confirmation for a much higher target for 2019. But let's take it one day at a time. So this week we finished pretty much very, very strong. We still have room into uh, this uh, 20 simple moving average at the 168.40 level. Now let's take a look at the daily chart and see where we are. If you could take a look at the left-hand side of the chart here, we have a lot of noise. This noise has created a lot of price turbulence and uh, that, res uh, that was the result of a lot of volatility. So this volatility now is creating somewhat of a volatile market environment for this week as well. We also have noticed it until last week, but it has subsided. So uh, I'm looking at the levels of risk that have subsided, com subsided, com subsided compared to the prior, uh, compared to the prior price action activity that we had in 2000, uh, 2019. Definitely, 2019 was extremely hawkish. All right, so let's uh, see where we finished off. 165.25 this is pretty much a doji here now it will re remain to be decided where we're going to be opening uh tomorrow and uh i'm currently looking at the futures market and i see that nasdaq is down about 43 points right now and uh from the daily level is trying to is trading towards this bottom side of the of of this uh of this candle so towards um uh, towards rotating a little bit to the downside. Now, keep in mind, if we get uh, a push below 164, uh, we may come into a pullback. I don't think that the pullback is going to be extremely strong because we do have a lot of support into the 162 level. We have support into the 160 level. So it's not gonna be a, a, a you know like a drop in price. It's going to be a mild correction. And this is what the charts are suggesting right now. As long as the price is gonna gravitate in the overnight trading session within this range, uh, basically the low and the high from Friday, I think that we may still be looking at a positive uh, Monday but like I said if we break below this uh, prior uh, prior low right here into the 164 we may see a little bit of a of price pullback now let's take a look into the spiders and spies let's type in the spies right here okay so spies daily chart we finish very strong in fact a bit stronger than the Q's and then NASDAQ so uh, spies had a really nice push to the upside we finished off we pretty much have sort of a rocket bar with a nice bottoming tail here and uh, we finished at one uh, at 266.46 so uh, we also finished off into this uh, uh, we closed into this uh, cluster high right here uh, 267 all the way to 269 so this is a this is actually this whole entire area right here from the support level into the 259 all the way into the 280 uh, 282 area 281.50 we still have a lot of noise here and trading is going to be a little bit more turbulent than uh, uh, than usual because we're digesting the October and the November and the December um, uh, pretty much uh, uh, the volatile move that we've had uh, a push above this prior uh, this prior high of the 267 level is going to project much higher prices into the 269 to 70 and into the 270 uh, 270 to 272 levels 
All right, from the weekly perspective, we finished very strong. We finished into uh, into the 266, uh, 46 level, and we still have some room into the 268 and change, and also into the 270. So price pretty much at this uh, at this level is promoting a little bit of a uh, upside, but I do expect the momentum to slow down a little bit because we did have a really tremendous push to the upside in the last four weeks. Uh, and uh, I expect things to be uh, um, this week a little bit calmer than what we had last week. Now, keep in mind that we're in full throttle earning season. Um, uh, financials are still going to be front and center. There are a lot of uh, financials, uh, financial stocks that we'll be reporting this week. And also semis are going to be front and center. So we're going to take a look at those as well. All right, let's get to our... Uh, to our watch list, what we're going to be watching for this week. This is going to be a really short video. We're going to have a short week. Uh, all right. Uh, still, Intel is still going to be on our watch list. It's uh, really fast approaching our $50 mark, as we highlighted in the prior video last week. We're going to be looking for a break over $50. Uh, and at the time we initiate the trade, we will be reviewing the risk for this trade. Current risk for this trade is gonna be below $48. A break over $50 may bring higher prices all the way into the 52 and 52, $53. These are gonna be our target areas. Uh, one of uh, my favorite stocks to watch this week is going to be APA. APA has a very nice formation. It is a bull, it is a bull flag formation, and we're trying to break above the thirty-two dollars and fifty cents. This is going to be the trigger that is going to bring uh, a target uh, and probably a price acceleration all the way into thirty-four dollars and twenty cents, thirty-five dollars, and all the way into the thirty-six, thirty-seven dollars. So this is going to be the bit turbulent zone from the $34 to the $37, but if we break above this area and we're gonna take it slow and steady, I see prices, I, I see the price may uh, try to achieve this $40, uh, $40 price target on it. So I really love, love, love this stock. Uh, PayC, uh, this is uh, the third stock. I don't have a lot of stocks on my watch list and I think that I went through a lot of stocks this weekend. But, and then I kind of handpicked just a few stocks to watch this week. We had a tremendous week last week. Uh, all right, so daily chart of PayC. This is Paycom software. We're trading into resistance right here. What I do really like is the weekly chart. The weekly chart looks like it wants to break above this 136.70. We get a break over 136.70. We're flying, we're flying high with the first target into the 146.50, second target into the 153, and then we're gonna go from 168 and this prior high of 164. Pay C, ready to take off. Uh, TLT, I think that uh, I was looking at, because I'm a futures trader, uh, and I was looking at uh, uh, futures, um, uh, 30 year uh, bonds and they look really good for a reversal now we had a first trade into the beginning of the year uh as a swing <laughs> excuse me <coughs> let me put it here all right and this was the break over this 121 area we took uh <coughs> we took excuse me <coughs> i'm just coming back from a really bad cold um so we took it at uh, we took the bonds ZB here it is, uh, and we took it last year uh, over 146. We had a really nice continuation higher, and then uh, we cashed in, uh, and then we have the pullback, which is back into the 144. Same concept applies to TLT for those of you that are stock traders, uh, and TLT is going to be a focus right here into the 119 level so where i'm looking for the price to stabilize into the 119 and from the daily perspective the first area that i'm going to be watching is 120.57 so i'm going to create a quick alert for this area just to give me a heads up because that's going to be the reversal that we're going to be watching 
one. All right, so uh, 120.57, 120.68, we're gonna be looking for a continuation higher, back into the 122 and perhaps 123 and 124. Um, CLF is also on my list and I do like the weekly chart. Uh, the weekly chart has reversed over $8, continuation higher. This is actually the first close in a very long time above the 50 SMA, that $9. If we manage to trade above $9.20, I think this is gonna be a good trade for the long side. All right, I like the first breakout that occurred here into the $8.90. I think it still needs to work out a little bit into the $9.50, so I'm gonna have patience for it. But I think once it regains the $9.50, I think we're gonna be ready to continue higher and reverse uh, from the pullback that has happened the last three months of the year, so last quarter. All right, let's continue with CLX, CLX, all right, Clorox, okay, all right, let's take a quick peek at the weekly charts, weekly charts, we need to trade over 155.20 to be able to reverse higher, I love the pullback, huge bottoming tails, bottoming tails, bottoming tails in the last three, four weeks or so, once we consolidate, and we have been consolidating for some time now so if we get a break over 155 and 20 here we're gonna be ready to continue higher back into the 160 and back into the 165 so watch Clorox last stock on my list is coca-cola coca-cola weekly chart $47.80 once we break over $47.80 I think we're ready to take off with the first target level into the 48 50 49 and 50 dollars and uh, the weekly looks just perfect. We just need to see if the price is going to meet our entry criteria. All right, guys, this is all for tonight. Enjoy um, a, a good week, a short week. And I'll see you guys uh, back here uh, on uh, Sunday night. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe. You're going to get our uh, emails about our trades, about our uh, what we watch uh, for this week first. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful week. See you next week. Have a profitable, profitable trading week. Thanks.